Hello, it's Zachary Triple Seven, and in today's video, I'm doing a Windows 7 theme review on a Fire Skin Pack. It's an absolutely great-looking theme. It's a black, orange, and a transparent-looking theme. Um, you can go ahead and skip ahead in the video, and you can see what it looks like. And then go ahead, and come back, and follow it. Now, to download your correct one, again, this is Windows 7 only. It does not work on Windows 8. So, on your Windows 7 machine, go ahead to the Start menu and click the Properties. From here you can go to system type and check out what operating system you have, so either 32-bit or 64-bit. Whatever yours says, go below into the description and click the download button and yours will download. Once you've downloaded it, you can go ahead and continue on. So I have downloaded the correct one for me and I will go ahead and open it now. If user account control comes up, click yes. You might need an administration password to enable that. Alright, so now you can go ahead and click the Uncheck it here and click next. And uncheck here and click next. It will go ahead and download the latest version of it and then we'll continue on with the ins installation process. Alright, so now it's done, we can go ahead and install it. So just click next. I accept the terms. This is just a bunch of links of people who made made certain programs for this to work. Go ahead and click next and click install. So now it's going to do everything for us. So it's going to patch anything it needs to patch and then it's going to go ahead and install all the custom DLL files and then our custom icons, wallpapers and everything along those lines. Alright so you can see some of the things. Okay now it's done you can go ahead and click next and reboot. Since this is a virtual machine I can show you guys the whole reboot process and what you guys get as soon as you turn your computer back on. Now one thing this, this skin pack does does do is when you either install it or uninstall it, the first time you turn your computer on after the install or uninstall, it always hides your icons. It's really simple to fix that. All you gotta do is right click on the desktop and click view and show desktop icons. Now you guys can see right from the login screen we have a tarish looking background with a custom circle and now we got our custom home here so we're here this, this comes up for the first time go ahead and click close now like I said sometimes your icons will hide to, uh, make them come up come back to life right click the view and go to show desktop icons they'll come back alright so I'll show you guys what we get with this we get um, our custom Rocky Dock, which has our custom icons to go with the theme. So you have some popular things like all control panel icons. We have games, cycle bin, my pictures, my music, and all of them work easily by just clicking it. So I'm showing you guys what we get from the Explorer. We get custom icons everywhere, which look really good. We get custom back and forward buttons custom close maximize and minimize buttons they light up basically very little just a little red um, come to life now here's what the icons look up big so you can see we have nice and big thick ones They're really cool and of course they get uninstalled when you uninstall the actual theme we also get this custom cursor which you can see actually moves a bit and along with that we also get our custom start menu which I actually like a lot we get the transparent look to it but it's not too transparent so you can still read it and when you go into stuff like this it kind of turns black so you can actually see it alright so it is a pretty cool look now if you wanna get rid of this look it's really simple to do all you gotta do is go to your start menu go to control panel uninstall program Fire skin. Yes. Check them all. And uninstall it. It will go ahead and restore everything it has to restore. Then click yes. And next. And make sure you reboot for the finalized chain change. And now everything that you just gotten from that skin pack is going to be gone as soon as you reboot your computer. So everything from the lo login wallpaper to your rocket dock to the start menu everything is now gone 
So this is a great way to test it out. If you don't like it, you can easily uninstall it. You can install it on a friend's computer if he doesn't like it anymore. Go, he can easily go ahead and uninstall it as long as he knows how to click next a couple times. So you can see the wallpaper at our login screen has been changed back to the default one and our wallpaper and everything has been changed back to default. Now, sometimes you guys might get an error where it's not an actual error, but when you're going through your files, some of your icons are going to be half the old one, half the new one. 99% of the time this won't happen, there's a slight chance it might. Now if it does, it's easily fixable. All that happens is your icons didn't refresh properly. To fix this, just go to the description below and I'll have a link explaining how to refresh icon catch. It's a simple process built into Windows. You just do that and it refreshes your icons and then Windows realizes that you have the new icons back to default again and it will just refresh it for you. Anyways guys, that's all for this video. Hope you guys did enjoy. If you did, drop a like. If you have any questions, comments, or concerns, leave it below and I'll try and answer it to my best ability. And besides that, happy hacking. See you in the next video and have a great day. This is the Hacker 007 and I'm signing off.